everybody, uh, in preparation of getting canceled, I want to apologize in advance for those with sensitive hearts and sensitive minds. Today, I thought I would share a fair number, maybe three or four thoughts that I have that are hot takes that probably will get me canceled in certain demographics. Um, and perhaps in others, you might think these are very weak takes that I really agree with. Who knows? Let's get after it. Uh, in light of me sharing my opinion, I think my first hot take is that everyone's opinion can't matter slash have the same weight. I think we live in this weird hodgepodge of society where we have this tendency to say we respect everyone's opinions. We could listen to everyone's opinions. I mean, if I'm going to go a step further, not everyone deserves a platform of their own. This hodgepodge society that allows us to share constantly on Twitter, on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, makes people think that they're entitled to share in their opinion. And they can. They have the liberty to do so. But it doesn't mean that you deserve the attention or the accreditation or the applause of people. And I think it brings about this weird function of a society where people have all these audiences and have these platforms that allow them to talk, which in turn gives them the idea that they should be talking. When a lot of times, many of these people probably shouldn't be because they're spewing things that are wrong or very low quality opinions that shouldn't be getting the attention or the commendation that they receive. And I think it produces these monsters, these individuals and Ironically, I bet the people that you just thought of that do these things are probably different from the people that I'm thinking of, which makes this even more interesting. But bottom line, people aren't all respectable and everyone's opinion shouldn't matter. In fact, most opinions shouldn't matter and most opinions are wrong and most opinions are incorrect, which kind of does into a second tangent. We can't all be right. I think we're also living in a society where every opinion is right on their own and it is my worldview or your worldview or my opinion, your opinion. At the end of the day, a fact exists and we're either on the right side of that fact or on the wrong side of that fact. Of course, there are opinionated things like the fact that I like the color red is an opinion in the sense that not everyone likes red, but the fact that I like red is still a fact. That is a completely different tangent of a story. Bottom line, I think, actually, I'm going to stop saying I think. This is also a product of living in society. I don't think, I, I know for a fact that there is right and wrong and there is no your version of the truth and my version of the truth. There is a truth, and if you and I disagree on a truth, then one of us has to be wrong. And this, of course, ties into my faith, where when I talk about Christianity, when I think about me believing God or me believing in Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, I, I have been brought up in this tendency to say, in my worldview, in my opinion, it is fact to me that those things are true. And sure, it is a faith and it is a belief, but those things are true. The same way that for someone who's not Christian, let's say they're Muslim or they're Buddhist, it is not to them only that it should be true. In fact, I don't understand people who claim that they're religious and they say they also understand slash think that my God could be true and their God could be true. Only one of us could be right in the sense, or actually both of us could be wrong in the sense that there could be no God, but you can't claim to be religious. You can't claim to have take a stance on something and say the other person is also correct. One is incorrect or correct. There is no gray area of correctness. There exists facts and truth and we're wrong or right. All of this kind of in a combination juxtaposition to say, we're not all special. In fact, most of us aren't special. We're growing up in this Disney era where everyone is thinking that they could be a hero. They could be part of the Marvel universe. You deserve this. This special mentality of everyone is special makes us think that we all deserve things. We don't deserve anything. In fact, the thing that confuses me a lot is that the people that typically preach this everyone is special mentality also happens to be pretty scientific people. And the thing that I understand is if we're just another lineage of animals, if we share similar DNA with amoeba at some point in time, where does the specialness of humans come from? These are all theoretical things. We're technically a result of 6 billion years of chance and we're just made of different proteins. Why do we deserve anything more than the next animal down the line or a piece of dust that happens to also be a microorganism? I'm not going to go on off a scientific tangent, but we're not special. Uh, I'm not special. You're not special. Most of us aren't special. By definition, most people can't be special. Special implies that you are somewhat unique. You stand out amongst the crowd. If everyone stands out amongst the crowd, then no one is standing out amongst the crowd. I think I've witnessed this a lot, especially in the generation under me, where there's this very sensitive mentality where you can't attack what I'm doing. You can't criticize what I'm doing because I'm special. I am who I am for who I am. And the things that make me special can't be attacked because how dare you? I'm special in my way. You're special in your way. 
we need to get rid of this mentality and recognize that we need to work towards becoming more special if that is your goal. Perhaps you don't want to be special and you just want to be normal. And I think that's okay. If anything, that is better for mental health. But the fact that we all strive for this specialness, and it's both. It's we're already special and we have to become special. We have to become all these things. We have to have a main job, a side hustle, a social media platform, creative uh, outlet, the ability to become famous because we're all special and we're all talented. No, most of us are not talented. Most of us are not special. I will stand, I'll take, I'll take a step back and say that, yes, you should always be loved by those around you and everyone deserves love, especially in my Christian perspective. Everyone is deserving, actually everyone is undeserving, but is receiving God's love. But on a worldly perspective, in the sense that I've seen it preached in this realm of 2022, Everyone is not special. Uh, Disney is lying to you. You are not part of the MCU and you'll probably never become an MCU hero, the same that I won't be. It's a lot easier to live life once you accept that you're not special. You're just a speck in the dust and most things will not go your way. You don't deserve anything. And if something goes wrong, it's not that it's going wrong. It's just that is the way it is. That is the norm. And if things go right, things go well, the things make you feel special, then those are extra points. So there are things that you didn't deserve and you're getting. You, you have to start from a... I deserve nothing mentality and build yourself up instead of starting at a I'm very special and I deserve everything mentality and then break yourself down every time something goes wrong. I'm going to go out and say a couple more specific things. I feel like the other three things, there's probably 50% of people that agree with me, 50% don't. This next three of things are probably things that actually will get me canceled in the next year, two, four, five, depending on how viral or unviral this video gets. Um, being fat should not be celebrated. Um, and, and before I get attacked um being fat should not be criticized in the sense that you shouldn't pick on people for being fat you shouldn't go out of your way to make fat jokes and make fat people feel bad a lot of fat people um are fat not by their choice some of them can't afford to eat healthy food some of them can't afford a healthy lifestyle some of them are born with um native diseases illnesses that cause them to be more fat than others i will take a stance there but let me go further and say being fat should not be celebrated in the sense that we are celebrating fatness recently there's commercials that uh, feature fat models and fat people and make them seem very happy and celebrated and something that we should strive towards. Again, fat people can be happy, uh, just as short people can be happy, um, but we shouldn't celebrate it. We shouldn't make it an image that people should strive for. The whole point of marketing, the whole point of making something into something that's glorified, something that people watch, something that advertises, something that stands for a product is the idea that you are in desire of that thing. You want to become that thing. I find it very hard to believe that anyone is watching these ads, including people that are fat, that are obese, that are watching these ads and they feel comforted and they go, wow, I love who I am. That is who I strive to be. I have never been obese before, but I have been fat. Uh, there's plenty of videos that cover that on this channel. There's been images that float around of me being pretty fat, uh, 40 plus pounds from where I am now. I was not comforted by seeing plus size models uh, and saying, wow, that normalizes this. I look good like that. I should stay like this. I was very challenged and I felt better by looking at people that were fit and thinking I need to become like that because that is the better version of myself. Being fat is objectively bad. Whether or not the cause of that fatness is a different story, but being fat is not a good thing. It causes you to be unhealthy, causes you to be out of breath when you go upstairs, causes you to not fit in clothes, I couldn't see my toes. After I became unfat and I became more fit and I'm in the process of becoming even more fit, I become more confident in myself and become happier. There's a reason why there's no progress picks towards being fat. There's no, I became fat progress picks and people happy. People commend those that lose weight on purpose. If being fat was something that was of equal value as of being fit, then there would be a coordination. There was a, would be applause for being fat, but instead it, it goes back to this like special mentality. Everyone's special mentality where we're trying to normalize being fat. We're trying to celebrate. We're trying to say that this is okay. This is normal. This is something that we should be okay with somewhat strive for brings a very weird toxic mentality. And I, I don't even think that's what fat people want it. We're in this weird hodgepodge society. And perhaps my last opinion of the day where the people that are actually affected by the things, but the, the, the minorities of the world, the things that people that would actually be hurt uh, by certain aspects aren't the ones deciding how that narrative is told. And instead it's people that are 
the majority, the people that aren't part of that group deciding whether or not or how you should feel on something and dictating how marketing is done and how products are done, how hiring is done. Things like that concern me. And hopefully this doesn't get me canceled because I feel like my YouTube's on a good run and I've been really enjoying talking about whatever I want and not investment banking. But here's was a couple of thoughts that I had um, spontaneously where I was just thinking, what are some hot takes that I've never shared on this channel? Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys agree, disagree, um, can't fathom, unsubscribing, whatever you'd like. Um, I'd love to open the discourse. As always, I thank you guys for watching um, and I will see you guys next time with another perhaps hot take video. Let's go.